Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to understand the AI tool used for literature review that is Research Rabbit. Research Rabbit AI is an intelligent information retrieval and recommendation system. Gone are the days of the endless manual searches and getting ir irrelevant results. Research Rabbit AI employs advanced natural lang language processing, machine learning, and semantic understanding to provide highly accurate and contextually meaningful results. Research Rabbit AI stands as a testament to the potential of artificial intelligence in transforming the way we engage with the information. By bridging the gap between researchers and the knowledge they seek, this platform empowers scientists, scholars, and enthusiasts alike to push the boundaries of human understanding. Key features of Research Rabbit are Customize rec recommendations. Research Rabbit AI learns from the user's search, search history, preferences, and reading behavior to offer personalized recommendation. This helps researchers discover new insights and avenues related to their field of study, ensuring that they stay up to date with the latest developments. Semantic understanding. Unlike traditional search engines, they rely on keyword matching. Research Rabbit AI understands the semantic context of a query. This enables it to uncover the relevant content, even if the exact words are not present, enhancing the depth and the accuracy of the search results. By analyzing patterns and research publications and discussions, Research Rabbit AI can identify emerging trends and topics within a particular field. Researchers can leverage this feature to anticipate the next big breakthrough or to pivot their own research directions. Collaborative Insights The platform fosters collaboration by allowing research to share and discuss findings directly within the interface. This promotes a sense of community and encourages the exchange of ideas beyond traditional publication channels. Visual Summarization Research Rabbit AI employs data visualization techniques to condense complex information into easily digestible visual summaries. This is particularly helpful for quickly grasping the key points of lengthy research papers. Integration with the existing tools. The platform seamlessly integrates with the popular reference management softwares, allowing users to directly import discovered content into, the, into their libraries. Now let's see how we can use the powers of Research Rabbit AI. So for this, we will go in Google. We'll write down Research Rabbit AI. We'll click on the first link. Now let's see the mission of the research rabbit. You can scroll down and you can see it is free forever for the researcher. This is a mission statement of research rabbit. Now, if you are the first time user, you will have to sign up. You will have to give your details. Make sure that you give your correct email. After that, you press login. It's completely free. Now you can click on the settings on right hand side. You can provide your email. If you want to change your password, you can change the password from here. So I'll press back. We are having new collection, new category, connect to Zotero. So press on new category. Let's say we are creating the category marketing. Enter. So you can see here the marketing category has been created. Now click on the collection and write down the uh, paper on which you are working. Let's say neural marketing. So you can see here neural mar marketing title has appeared. Now click on add papers. So a search bar will appear. From here, you, you can connect to Zotero or you can upload the BibTeX and RIS file. Moreover, in this search bar, you can write the title of the paper, the DOI of the paper, the PubMed index or the keywords. So let's see. We want to search the papers which are related to neural marketing.
enter now i will add all those papers which are related to the neural marketing so press on add to selection one scroll then add to collection two scroll you can add this paper also neural network algorithm add to collection and let's add one more model cross selling opportunities with recurrent neural network on retail marketing add to collection neural insights for digital marketing content design add to collection after adding all the papers you click on the on the canvas and you will see all the papers appeared in the neural marketing now you can click on this paper to see the details related to it any paper so we have selected four papers if i click on the connections it will show me all the connections which are related to it right now you can press across here and you can again press this connections okay now click on the paper particular paper if the pdf is available you can download the pdf file directly let's say we want to check about this paper variational fuzzy neural network pdf is available click on it and you will be able to directly download the pdf file from here quite good cross it and again come back on the research rabbit Now we are interested in this particular paper and we want to find out the similar works which are related to this. So we will click on any similar work is it available or not. So let's see if the similar uh, just a minute if the similar work is available not available. Okay if I click on this paper similar work index uh, similar work gets activated click on it and you will get all the similar work which are related this paper you can click on the last uh, last author if you want to generate the network according to the last author it will give give according to the last author and this is first order moreover if you click on the timeline your papers will be arranged according to the timeline now if you click on the particular paper let's say if i click on the particular paper then i will also come to know that this paper has been cited by which other authors so it gives me the it gives me the precedence now let me cross this i can also filter these items according to the keywords if i want i can zoom out or zoom in from here and if i press fit on it will give me the entire representation Now, if I select any paper from here, let's see, and if I click on all the earlier works of this paper, if I want any early, earlier work for this paper, so I'll click here on the earlier work and it will give me the works which have been done earlier to this paper. If I click on later works, it will give me uh, the papers which are published after this base paper. I'll cross this. Now when I will click on this authors, it will give me the list of all the authors. Now if I click on the first author, it will give me the work, uh, the publication by, done by this author. So there are 19 publications. So let me click here. All the 19 publications will appear. You can see here. We'll cross, cross this and again come back on the main page. Now, which are the suggested authors?
for this particular topic. So these are all the suggested options for this particular topic. If I click on any one, it will give me all the work which has been done by this author. Moreover, it will also give me who are the collaborators with this particular author. Now, if I want to uh, export the citation in BibTeX format, or RIS or CSV, I would just simply press here and the citations will be downloaded immediately. You can see here. All the citations are downloaded in CSV file. Similarly, you can download the sort of citations in BibTeX or RIS format. Now I want to share this paper uh, with my colleagues or my students. So how can I do this? There are two methods for this. One is I can click on edit. So this is the first way. And the second way is that I can click on the three dots. Both of them will give me the uh, same option. So I am having the option to rename this, duplicate this and delete this. If there are a number of collection categories, I will select that which category I want to share with my colleagues or my students. So let's say this is a marketing uh, public collection you want to share or you don't want to share depending upon that activate the tick from here. Now uh, write down the email of a particular person with which with whom you want to share this. Now there are three things there are three permissions or rather there are three status. The one is owner. The second is can add paper you allow your colleagues or students to add paper and the third one is they can read only right they can read only the papers they cannot make any changes here so this was all about research rabbit ai uh, the artificial intelligence tool used for literature review you can refer my playlist in which i have uploaded many videos on AI tools used for the literature review. You can subscribe to my channel. You can press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.